Welcome back to another episode of Shade TV. My name is Marissa Hill and huge shout out to Pharrell for sending these sneakers my way. Today we're going to be unboxing the NMD S1 Riot in the Focus Olive colorway. Let's take a quick sneak peek. Welcome back everyone to another unboxing and review. I am so ecstatic to be unboxing once again an NMD S1 Riot. As most of you have probably seen, I've rocked these at festivals left and right. This is kind of, I feel like, become my festival type of sneaker, boot, you name it. But these are extremely comfortable. So I was so excited when I saw this box in the mail from Pharrell. So huge thank you once again to Pharrell for thinking of me as always. Got a cool little special note as well. Marissa Hill introducing the newest NMD S1 Riot colorway for 2023, a muted olive inspired by the desert landscape. Your Adidas originals fam and Pharrell. So um, I'm excited to do this unboxing. This is a friends and family packaging that you're going to see here. So we'll go through the overview on these, jump into size and fit, followed by how I style this really cool, rugged looking sneaker. And then we'll conclude with how much these are going for on the retail market. All right, so let's jump into the overview. One of the cool things about this friends and family box, I can't quite put my finger on it, but literally I am putting my finger on it. This feels like a patch of some sort. The texture is just really cool. So we've got it on this note, but we also have it on the top of this box here. We've got Raya and Adidas also in a really just cool texture. And it wouldn't be a Pharrell sneaker without the human race blue box. So we've got that there. Lift this out. All right, so let's jump into this overview. You've probably seen some of my previous episodes, which were on the same exact NMD S1 Riot Silhouette, different color combinations. So I love the fact that Pharrell has really just switched up with the colorways. I think this is perfect timing for the spring. And I love the fact that this whole colorway is based off of landscape. I absolutely love olive tones. So I'm really excited to see it on the NMD S1 just because I already have a black and a, a white pair. So it's nice to kind of give a little bit of that, you know, variety and color scheme. So let's jump into the front of the toe box. So we've got this nice textured suede. It's kind of got a hairy feel to it in the olive tone with the nice olive hues on the front of the toe box region. I love that they've just kind of complemented the sneaker by using different hues of olive. So you've got some different colors on the laces, a little bit of purple hues on that lace as well. And then on the eyelets on the side here, you do have a deeper, darker olive tone. The tongue is in more of a metallic-y kind of olive hue, which really has a nice look when it hits the lights. And then human race is also in that darker, deeper tone stitched nicely on top of the tongue. The inner lining has this nice light pastel kind of purple tone to it on the leather on the interior. I do always feel like for some reason, lighter purple hues really are a complimentary colorway when it comes to olive tones. You also have a secondary rugged lace option, which is in a darker evergreen. And again, and still has kind of some grayish purple tones in there, which again, I think would be another nice option. I feel like I'm probably gonna maybe try the darker laces in there as well, just because I think it's a good fit, but you can't go wrong with the lighter green as well. I think they both look great. All right, so let's take a look at those details and then move along to the side paneling.
right, so wrapping around the side paneling, again, more just deep, dark, olive green tones. You'll see that that tone also is on the collar here in that leather material. The pull tab is in this nice pastel yellow tone. I love how you'll see the accents of the bright pops of colors are just very subtly placed. It's not all over the olive green, which kind of takes up the majority of this shoe itself. We do have purple and some darker green tones on the insole and wrapping around again, we still have those different olive green tones throughout. As we work our way to the base of the sneaker, you'll see that on the midsole, we've got more pops of that purple hue as well as the yellow. And then on the back, we've got some more branding here. On the bottom, we've got the Adidas logo, the trefoil, which I think is probably one of my favorite parts of the sneaker is how they've kind of added this to give it a very rugged look, but they were so good with really just adding that Adidas logo to it. One of the things about this sneaker and why I wear it to festival so much is because it is absolutely so comfortable. I love the fact that it has this kind of rugged boot look to it, but also just, it is so squishy. And so when you're walking Walking around at festivals for eight hours a day you definitely want to have a comfortable sneaker but also you get stepped on a ton which is probably honestly my biggest pet peeve when I'm at concerts because you can really hurt yourself if you don't have the right uh, sneakers on and I just feel like this provides you with that extra protection if somebody's gonna stomp on you well it's not really gonna work its way through this sneaker as well as some other ones all right let's take a look at those final details As far as size and fit goes, I typically actually size down in these. I do find that they run a little bit on the larger side. So I go with a size seven. If you do have higher snare feet or you do plan on, you know, wearing extra thick socks, I would say sticking true to your size is fine. Uh, but if you are somebody who has high arch and narrow feet, do take my recommendations to heart. If you do have, you know, flatter, wider feet. We do have different types of feet, so it could differentiate a size difference. All right, so now let's talk about how I style this beautiful olive toned shoe. For this look, I decided to keep it pretty casual. I wanted to definitely keep with the green theme, so I wore these cargo olive green toned denim pants that are wide legged, and then I paired it with this cream ribbed long sleeve shirt, and then I layered it with this rude Zara puffer coat, which is also olive. Definitely feel like this gives it a very outdoorsy feel, but also gives it a bit of a lifestyle yeah. feel. She bad. Yeah, I don't even care, I never had manners. No way. Yeah, been a couple years, y'all must have stand. I do. Hey, sit while you rap, cause you just can't stand. Yeah, into my head, like you gave me danger. I go in and the girls go crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, holding me tight, trying to have my baby. Say what? Yeah, I'ma be a place in my ace turn 80. I'm a big flow tsunami, I'm wavy. At the home mom with a chick named Stacy. I just see a beat go beats, that's rabies. What's up? What's up? Ready, that's me, that's up. That's up. I've been working on getting that buzz and finally refill my cup. Okay. I don't even have to. I wanted to keep this look pretty dressy, but not too over the top dressy, just because this is again just more of an outdoorsy looking kind of boot sneaker. So I went with this mini skirt that is in a denim material that's olive green, and then I wore a nice just bodysuit that also has a different shape shade of green on it and then this kind of olive toned khaki uh, jacket. I definitely feel like mixing and matching different green hues work amazingly with this just because as you can see there's so many different shades of gray used throughout the silhouette. Absolutely. Now I want to make it just because I choose. So, fuck with me. Now I want it all that's luxury. Uh -huh. Step up in the party they bump with me. Step up in the party she run to me. Okay. 300 a month that's fun to me. I know a couple mans want to punch me. What? All they ever throw is he subs to me. What? He ever see me out they bump with me. Chick so bad she never met Santa. She bad. Yeah, I don't even care, I never had manners. No way. Yeah, been a couple years, y'all must have stand. I do. Hey, sit while you rap, cause you just can't stand. Hey. Into my head, it gave me danger. Uh -huh. I'll go in. For this Wait. look, I decided to use more of kind of a light 
cream khaki tone with this nice jumpsuit, which also kind of has a bit of a rugged feel to it, a little outdoorsy, but also like I feel like you can definitely wear this in the city. I decided to layer it with this green coat, a different shade of green from the other two looks, but definitely a green that I think complements the green hues in this. What is not enough is Chicago friend. Way too cold like my Ottomans. Got this driver deserve a Benz. Way too turn up, swerve the Benz. We are not a couple with your serpentine. I'm almost home on the dirt again. This the one. Got him all shook like a hit and run. Been a couple years, but I just begun. Fend on myself and I'm almost done. Oh God, I'm faded, yeah. My mom gon' hate this, yeah. I just can't fade this, nah. Bombs away when I lay this. She's so bad, she never met Santa. She bad. Yeah, I don't even care. I never had manners. No way. Pedal to the metal, you ain't catching me in park. Uh, I just hit the stop. Uh, I don't wanna speak. I'm talking all that good, so I just hit you with the please. Running up the score like Tyreek, I'm going deep. Watch me how I'm saucing, I be spreading it with ease. You gon' see the peace. You gon' see the flex when you hear these written. Trust me, you know the difference. I got a long ways to climb before you see a slippage. I see the process and the journey I'm supposed to be, but perplexed. Cause I don't really see nobody close to me. Hopefully, this ain't wasted and I know it ain't. You gotta take the time. Time for seasoning to marinate You need the patience and the pressure just to detonate I'm trying to blow up and these heathens need to get it straight Gifted with a vision and precision I'm just trying to make it high key Might be breaking free like I was Zion in some Nikes uh, Tucked at the crib, bro, you know just where to find me Making beats and spitting crack verses pretty likely Yeah, socks with the burst, boy, I ain't changed a bit Normal guy till I die, you know what it is You probably thought I'd give up now that I got some kids But really now nah, I got these arrows aiming at your ribs I don't wanna talk How you try and press the kid and really you was soft uh, All you know is capping, homie, you don't know the law uh, Pedal to the metal, you ain't catching me in park uh, I just hit the start, uh, I don't wanna speak Talking all that good, so I just hit you with the please Running up the score like Tyreek, I'm going deep uh, Watch me how I'm saucing, I be spreading it with ease You gonna see the peace, hey, Please be on the notice, these my motives, about my chicken and it's rotates. All right, now let's conclude with how much these are going for on the retail market. So these are retailed at $250. You can currently find these on the Confirmed app. So if you have not tried out the NMD S1 Riot Silhouette yet, you definitely have to give it a try, especially if you're somebody who needs a good festival shoe or you're somebody who is looking to have just more of a modern rugged look. One of the things I honestly love about about Pharrell so much is that he really loves to actually style and wear his sneakers that he does collaborations on. Sometimes you don't see that too often with some co-collaborators on their sneaker releases. So it's really hard to get an idea on how to style these. I think that Pharrell just has an impeccable style. So if you are looking for other ways and options to style the sneaker, definitely check his page out because he has been seen many, many times wearing this beautiful colorway. All right, everybody, that is it for this unboxing and review. If you joined us for the first time, thank you so much. We will catch you all on the next episode. My focus is to grow this mission, a visionary, get a dictionary. We hear off the ribbon, we ain't sharing, we just carrying. Let me speak it to the manager. We damage her. No, you ain't messing with an amateur. I'm ramming.